guys, it's Sarah from All Kung Bus Ladies. And today we're going to have a little bit of a different topic. And anyone who's been introduced to the nation of cryptocurrency market instability or volatility, as it's a more appropriate word, is a synonym of it. And over the past year, the market cap of the cryptocurrency space has been a frightening roller coaster going from 100 billion to 800 billion to where we are right now. And volatility and risk have been considered as the primary reasons why institutional and more conservative retail investors still avoid entering the cryptocurrency market, as the aforementioned crypto market characteristics are less attractive for their traditional investing behavior, which needs to be stable. And in an effort to fix this market, inefficiency institutions and developers have in initiated issuing and operating cryptocurrencies pegged to the values outside of cryptocurrency market space. These coins are known to the white public as stablecoins. And lately, stablecoins have thrown on the table regarding to their use, credibility and security. And what made them especially valuable is that they solved them in cryptocurrency flow, the volatility. It seemed this world the entire community have been looking for so long, unless there was something that concerned the society. And we are talking about the recent scandals related to the two projects in this video, Tether and El Petro. So Tether is a stablecoin pegged on an even ratio to the US dollar, and according to the research from University of Texas, Tether has been used to manipulate the Bitcoin price and consequently it is not to be trusted. The Bitfinex exchange was reported to purchase a stablecoin and keep its price up. In fact, one report which closely examined prices of Bitcoin for a set of period of time, discovered that about 50% of the aggregate rise took place within two hours following a new delivery of Tether to Bitfinex. It determined that up to 80% of Bitcoin current value might be derived from Tether-based price manipulation. And I am not trying to spread any thought about Tether, I am just trying to share around all the maybe negatives about it by not creating a thought. I hope you guys will understand it. We're gonna go on to Petro now. Oh, El Petro, which is, on the other hand, its first cryptocurrency to be issued by a federal government, the Venezuelan one. And we know that Venezuelan government's been having a lot of issues recently. And El Petro is an oil-backed token issued as a form of legal tender, able to be used to pay taxes, fees, and other public needs. El Petro will have three main phases. Means of exchange, so it will be used to purchase goods and services, pay taxes, and other public services through digital exchange houses. El Petro can be traded for fiat currency and used as a payment method for country's oil via the direct exchange of PTR, which is the ticker to real oil dispatch. Second will be the digital platform, and El Petro will feature a digital platform which will allow to issue and trade crypto assets backed by raw minerals. And the third one will be the savings and investment facility and will be traded via the electronic exchanges with zero trading fees and having the characteristics to be traded using atomic swap technology in a safe and legal environment. And El Petro came as a solution to the prolonged economic stagnation in Venezuela, combined with high inflation, expected to reach 13,000% level in 2018 by the International Monetary Fund. And although the El Petro solution sounds great, many experts express a disagreement. And Steve Hankey, which is the professor of applied economics at Johns Hopkins University and one of the world's leading experts on hyperinflation, declared. This is a smoke and mirrors operation typical of Venezuela. I'll believe it when I see it. The problem with the Petro is it's a scam. It doesn't even trade. And additionally, Venezuela own parliament says it is being illegally used to mortgage the country's cash-strapped oil reserves. Additionally, the well-known crypto rating site ICOindex.com, which rates the ICOs, has labeled already the El Petro token with scam status. Notably, as the site's strategy is to evaluate the coins based on their white papers, it stated that while Petro has promised to be backed up by oil resources, the technology and mechanism to do so are not adequately explained. And all of the facts 
conclude that the debate about stablecoins will be continued until the time market volume will be adequate enough to absorb this type of inefficiencies. Mass adoption of cryptocurrencies is the key to face this issue and many experts say that the coins backed by fiat money should be objective to the same regulations which work for the traditional economy. And this refers to the process of the company registration, bank, audits and business operations. And as some startup shows the integration of digital money into the traditional finance system can be transparent, solid and quite reliable to be fair. So I've got an example here of the Swiss project Alprox has recently announced the issuance of the stablecoin ROX which is backed by the Swiss franc using the exit conditions of the cryptocurrency market which is the for example excessive costs, risks and the difficulties. The company founders not just issued a coin but are deploying the entire infrastructures with the banks, auditors, partners and are doing it all transparently. So all I'm trying to say is a question actually to you guys. Will a new trend fix its position on the market and will El Petro be actually rehabilitated? Are stable coins the key to mass adoption or just another bubble? While the evidence is still little, there's significant evidence to suggest that primary stable coins have their own notable flaws. And but what will definitely clarify the situation is a clear but what will definitely clarify the situation is a clear regulation policy and the support of real sector companies. So guys, let me know what you thought of this video. If you agree with me or disagree with me, leave me the like button. If you do agree with me, let me know what other stable coins would you like me to compare, maybe Tether with TrueUSD. And I'll obviously gladly do it. So follow me on Twitter, guys, if you have not yet. I all Sarah, subscribe to Combust Ladies, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.